Today's video is one that I have been wanting to make for quite a while now. Ever since the NHL announced that they'd be sending players to the Olympic Games in 2022. And once Team Canada announced that Doug Armstrong will be the GM to put their team together, it felt like the perfect time to put together my predictions for what the Team Canada lineup could look like in next year's games. I'm also planning on doing a Team USA roster as well, but I figured I might as well do Canada first because they have so many amazing players who could go play. So without further ado, let's get into the projected lineup, starting with the top line. On the first line to center, I have from Richmond Hill, Ontario, Connor McDavid, who will be 25 by the games. At left wing, Braden Point from Calgary, Alberta, who will be 25 also. And at right wing, Mitch Marner from Markham, Ontario, who will be 24. This line would obviously be loaded with skill and speed. And I think by putting Point there, he will help out defensively and potentially take some face-offs if need be. I would love to see these three together. Now for the second line, at center I have from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Nathan McKinnon, who will be 26 by next year. At left wing, from St. Jerome, Quebec, Jonathan Huberdeau, who will be 28. And at right wing, Matthew Barzell from Coquitlam, British Columbia, who's going to be 24. This line will be very similar to the top line, just loaded with skill and speed. And with Barzell and McKinnon on the ice together, they may just end up controlling the puck the entire time. Huberto is also a fantastic playmaker who can set these guys up anytime they want. Now for the third line, this should be a very familiar combination and one that was very successful for Team Canada at the 2016 World Cup of Hockey. At center, from Cole Harbour, Nova Scotia, Sidney Crosby, who will be 34. At left wing, from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Brad Marchand, who will be 33. And then at right wing, possibly taking center at times, Patrice Bergeron from Ancienne Lorette, Quebec, who will be 36 by next year. Obviously, this line is much older than the rest on the team, but I think the chemistry that they showed last time they played together for Canada is too good to mess with, and none of these guys are really showing any signs of slowing down as of now. For the fourth line, at center, I would have from Clinton, Ontario, Ryan O'Reilly, who will be 31. At left wing, from Mississauga, Ontario, John Tavares, who will be also 31. And at right wing, from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Mark Stone, who will be 29. This line will clearly be one of the strongest defensively, with Selkie frontrunner Stone and O'Reilly, and they will also be able to provide plenty of offense if need be. For the quote-unquote fifth line of extra forwards that they might bring, I would include Taylor Hall from Calgary, Alberta, who will be 30, Sean Couturier, who grew up in Bathurst, New Brunswick, and will be 29 next year, and Mark Shifley from Kitchener, Ontario, who will be 28. And I also wanted to include Steven Stamkos as another guy that might get a chance to play on this team. As you can see, this would be an absolutely stacked group of forwards to bring, as Canada possesses many of the most talented and dominant hockey players in the world. Now, moving on to what the defensive group may look like, on that top pairing, I would have from Vancouver, British Columbia, Morgan Riley, who will be 27, with Alex Petrangelo from King City, Ontario, who will be 32 years old. I like this pairing at the top because you have one highly gifted offensive D-man in Riley, with another guy who could really stabilize and shut down other teams' top units. Petrangelo can excel both offensively and defensively, and is one of the best two-way guys in the league. For that second pairing, I have from Langley, British Columbia, Shea Theodore, who will be 26, with Dougie Hamilton from Toronto, Ontario, who will be 28 by the games. Both of these guys are certainly more offensive-minded, but I believe they can both hold their own in the defensive zone, and they are also two excellent puck movers 
who would consistently be able to help get pucks to the forwards extremely efficiently. And on the third pairing, I would have from St. Marie, Quebec, Thomas Shabbat, who will be 25, alongside Kale McCarr from Calgary, Alberta, who will be just 23. These are obviously the two youngest defensemen on the roster, but they're also two of the most skilled and gifted guys on the decor. They would be really fun to watch together, in my opinion, and be very similar to the second pairing with Theodore and Hamilton, only maybe even faster than those guys. And for the quote-unquote fourth pairing, a potential extra defenseman they might bring, I would include from London, Ontario, Drew Doughty, who will be 32, and Shea Weber from Sycamus, British Columbia, who will be 36. These are two veterans who have been on Olympic teams before and could potentially come in and help out some of those younger guys if they end up struggling defensively or can't handle the pressure of the games. And finally, for the netminders for Team Canada. As the starter, I would have from Anaheim Lake, British Columbia, Carey Price, who will be 34 by next year. He is the most seasoned goalie for the Canadians and has won a gold medal the last time the NHL went to the Olympics in 2014. And if his game stays steady by next season, I think he'll be the no-brainer. For the backup, I would have from Sherwood Park, Alberta, Carter Hart, who will be 23. He's clearly one of the best young goalies in the NHL, and if he continues to play at a high level and develop into the goalie, many think he should, it makes sense to have him as the backup. For the third string, I would put in from Thunder Bay, Ontario, Mackenzie Blackwood, who will be 25. By next year, Blackwood may even be a potential backup or get looks at some games in the Olympics if he continues to play at the high level he's been playing at the last few years. He's still very underrated around the league and could potentially challenge for one of the two top spots. I also wanted to throw in the names of Darcy Kemper and Marc-Andre Fleury as potential options depending on how many goalies the team's able to bring. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments what some of your picks would be. And if I missed out on someone you think would have been an obvious choice. And stay tuned for the Team USA roster. And please let me know if you'd want to see some of the other powerhouse hockey countries.